hello everyone welcome back to our channel it's your girl shami and i'm back with another video today we are going to do something kind of different we are not showing a movie so it's gonna be something different i will actually be talking on the topic i called married in school but single at home yes married in school but single at home and before we go straight to the point I would love and appreciate it if you can like this video and please if you are new to this channel please make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you can be aware whenever we post interesting stuff like this so now let's get started welcome to Nigeria campuses where little girls are practicing wifely functions you know what you just go visit any boys hostel and you will be disappointed to find out that it is not normal for a girl to live with her cosmate i'm not even talking about girls living with girls this time around i'm talking about girls living with guys it is not normal for a roommate to give her popular compliments like you look sexy my girl and she will gladly reply, thank you, Oni, with a flirty voice and a romantic smile. So now, if I may ask you, who is a lover? <laughs> a 300 level student whose CGPA is barely up to 1.78. And they are aiming for the next best couple award for the year by the Department Association. So the girl now needs to live with him. What nonsense. You see, it seems some girls suddenly lose their senses. Immediately, they get admission into universities. Yes, because research has shown that some of them have no more caution, honor, and even dignity. After gaining admission, they will change their wardrobe and acquire new sets of makeups just to look sexy and campusy enough for guys. In months, they will start sleeping around with boys who collect pocket money from their uncles. Dirty boys who most of the time are infected with sexually transmitted diseases. Hey, I want you to know that you were sent to school to obtain a degree, not a disease, my sister. The campus is called a school. School is not sex. You're on campus to receive education, not ejaculation. You are there to master the use of a pen, not for player. Wake up, girl. Do some thinking. Your future is greater than the best couple award of the year. You cook for a boy you are more intelligent than. You even gave your virginity to a boy who will definitely leave you after graduation. You play wife. You play wife to a boy who cannot even care for himself. Open your eyes, girl. You've given too much enough. Open your eyes. You are opening your legs to a coward who cannot even stand before your father. And when you eventually get pregnant, he would brutally advise you to abort it and you would timidly agree. Then you will later face the consequence of your actions. I see. You may master the use of a condom, but you can never master the punishment of your own conscience. Don't you know you are bringing shame to your family? Don't you know you are cursing your mother by accepting to sleep with a boy, not even a man, without her consent? And when you even caution some girls, they will tell you they are not sleeping around. It's one boy, and they are being faithful. Excuse me. What kind of purity is that? That is classified allotry. And don't you know that sleeping with a man, even a man, without your father's blessing, is bringing cost to your future? What happened to your cultural values? Somewhere in your heart, I repeat, somewhere in your heart, you know that boy will use you and dump you. So why setting yourself for a heartbreak? Why? I want you to know that you are a lady and one day you will get married. And your husband will know that you are nothing but a dirty bitch who sleep with anything on trousers. 
the greatest gift, I repeat, the greatest gift a lady would give to her husband is her virginity. Let's lose it out of rape, not the certificate or vest cup award on campus now. The other gift for the rest of her life are her case and character, not her cuffs and complexion. Real men know this, so please get to screwed in. Listen, I'm not saying you should be rude or never live a social life. But all I'm saying is, think deeper about whatever you are doing now. Always remember you have just one life to live. So why spoil your life and regret? Okay, uh, let me try and turn your attention back to your books. My sister, you, yes, you. You are never in school for breast exhibition. Yes. So pay less attention to those books and give more attention to those books of yours. You are never in school for catwalking show. You are rather there in school to show them the dignity of womanhood. You are there to prove to them that you are costly. So why so cheap? See guys, I'm saying all this with both love and pain in my heart and that is why I've been saying this thing. So the, the best thing you can do for me and for you. Seriously, I'm saying all of this with both love and pain in my heart. And that, that, that is why I've been saying this thing. So the best thing you can do is just to change. So in conclusion, sit down, eat, drink water, sleep, wake up, and think of the advice you would give to your own daughter. When you finally get married, when you finally become a, a mother, because one day, one day, one day, you will. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. And please, the best you can do is to share with everyone around you that also care to be enlightened. Share with your children, share with your siblings, your friends, everyone around you that cared to be enlightened. Thank you very much once again. See you next time and have a wonderful day. Bye.